Hi, Scott. Um, a couple things before I start with your essay. First of all, it's amazing. I'm so excited to read the real thing. I hope that we get to read the real essays or the final products, rather. Um, I've also so enjoyed your comments throughout the course, and so I was really looking forward to reading what you were going to write about and kind of get an idea of what you wanted to present. And boy, did you not disappoint. Um, this sounds like it's going to be such an interesting paper. I really like what you've put together in terms of the structure and the quotes. Um, and it, it sounds like you're pretty far along in the VCE course. And so as someone who obviously is just starting in the VCE course, I really don't have very much criticism for you. Um, I have no criticism for you. But I do just want to kind of point out some things throughout the paper that um, are points that I guess I, I hope that you'll expound upon, and I imagine that you will. Um, but maybe as someone who's reading this, um, just thinking about what points might be especially interesting. Um, sorry about that. I'm on a very annoying text thread that I have nothing to do with. Okay, so um, I love the idea of the educational or global citizenship idea, um, and I like how it's tying into your peace proposal project. Um, I also like how you're framing it within the literature, uh, like you say. And I think it's it's great that you're you're comparing kind of what Ikeda and, and maybe Makiguchi and, and Toda have written about it um, in reference to some other uh, philosophers like Nussbaum and Kant. Um, and kind of tying the two together, which is a very literature review of you. Um, I also like that you're working in the IB schools. Um, I think, if I understand correctly, you're working in an IB school in Brazil. And it's, I think, very cool that you're able to directly relate that to your current work. Um, it's always nice and kind of gives a more concrete example to their readers as well. Um, I like the idea of starting out with a global citizenship discussion and then what it would look like for educational citizenship. Um, I There's one quote at the bottom that I hope you'll expound upon, um, and I can probably find it pretty quickly. Um, yeah, it's this one here. Um, Certainly, global citizenship is not determined merely by the number of languages one speaks or the number of countries to which one has traveled. So as someone who's not so familiar with uh, global citizenship and who's starting out on their um, their journey within your paper, um, if, if this is not what determines it, then what does? So I guess this, will be, this would be a really good springboard um, to talk about what does. Um, which I'm realizing right now, you have right here. So, yeah, I think that's wonderful. Sorry, I didn't put two and two together earlier. Um, moving back up, um, I like the format of your paper, and you do a really good job of bringing in kind of the ideas of what you want to talk about and where it's a really well-organized paper, um, talking about it through in a historical context, um, and then concluding with what exactly, how the two tie together and, and how you want to define uh, global citizenship. Um, the first quote that, I, that really jumped out to me was this one here. Um, I'm really interested to know where in your essay you'd put this, like what part of the body, um, if it's going to be something that you talk about when you're talking about what is global education and, and kind of this quote in support of what Ikeda's thoughts on that might be. Um, so I would I would really encourage this one to be really, um, really prom um, prominently displayed within the paper. Um, and then this one, it was Toto's constant and impassioned plea that humanity could be liberated from horrific cycles. Um, I imagine that you will do this, but how is this going to be directly related to IB, um, which actually goes for all of these quotes. Like, um, if the global citizenship is not about languages that you speak in countries to which you've traveled, are these values, per se, um, fitting into the IB education? And if so, how? Like, what are the concrete steps? And um, I think that would be a really interesting thing to tie together. Um, and then going through kind of the rest of your quotes, 
Um, I mentioned this quote as, you know, potential qualifiers for global education. And again, what that would look like being tied into the IB um, school. And then you're going through the different quotes. I think it's going to be an amazing paper. Um, I've been so interested by everything that you've shared throughout the course. And I have no doubt that this will be along the same vein. Good luck with your paper. Congratulations on having a really well organized and and great subject. Um, and again, hopefully we get to read each other's final papers. And if we do, I so look forward to reading yours. Have a good night.